Bees are very amazing. Here are some almond blossoms and an example of a teaching that association. This you get. What if we were to change that odor to something a bit more strange, like a bomb? So bomb sniffing bees. <laughs> It's a thing, it is, and there's a purpose to it because thinking about our future with bees and even this crazy world in which we live, we need better tools and we need sustainability with all of this. So if we were to train a bee for sniffing out bombs and then send her out into let's say a landmine field with that radar tracking device, and let's say we had 100 bees doing this, so we had some degree of accuracy, and you had 90 bees of the 100 that go to one part of a landmine field. One might assume, okay, there's a landmine there, let's go clear it, right? It's a weird benefit to bomb sniffing bees. What do we do now to clear landmine fields? Let's maybe send out you know, something that might get blown up, right? So 90% accuracy, it's pretty good. Now, what if you don't send the bee out, but you have them stay in? And this is a crazy image that looks like bees at desks, almost, <laughs> right? It's this kind of device where it's a handheld device. You install these trained bees into these desks that can record when their tongues are sticking out. And it's something that's actually already being used in airports in Ireland, where you can look at bags, luggage, right? Like, can you imagine a day where we don't have to take our shoes off anymore <laughs> at the airport? I mean, some lines are doing that, but even with bees here too, bomb sniffing bees. And this is amazing because the bees, even though it looks very futuristic here, they can just go home after their eight hour shift, <laughs> right? It's sustainable. It's weird, but it's sustainable. Um.